Good morning. We're here in Renfields in the northeastern corner of Bolnor village. And we're here to look at number 67, which is actually in this little cul-de-sac. It's actually the same design as these houses at the front. Uh, it was built in 2017 by Cress Nicholson to their Thetford design. And there was only a handful of these houses. I think this is one of the best designed houses in the development. It's a two-story house rather than a townhouse. It's detached and it's got potential to extend. But I've started out here in, uh, on Renfield itself because I just want to give you a really good perspective of where we are. Literally, to the right of that house at the top in the middle of your screen now, there's an alleyway and a nice gravel path with lighting which cuts into Bolnor Road. So if you know where Haywards Heath Police Station is, that's on the corner of Bolnor Road. So if you wanted to walk into the town centre, can you believe it? Someone's doing some work. Um, if you want to walk to the town centre or the railway station, this is the best part of Bolnor Village to be. So no lie, it shouldn't take you more than about 15 minutes, 20 minutes absolute maximum to walk to the station and the town centre is a little closer. Um, in Bolnor Village, down in the village square, you've got a local co-op store. There's a brilliant primary school, which is where why most people want to be in Bolnor. My timing couldn't have been better for that guy using his cutter. Excuse the sarcasm. It's just my luck, but it's a nice day, so we're grabbing videos while the weather's dry for once. But here's number 67 at the end. I mentioned the primary school, because that's why a lot of people move to Bolnor Village. The primary school is absolutely excellent, and that's where a lot of the people we're selling properties for in Bolnor are moving up or down market to stay in the village. And children go on to Warden Park Secondary School over in Cookfield from here. And the big barn, as you come into the top of Bolnor Village, that is now an excellent little nursery school. Um, but anyway, come and have a look. So, this is number 67. You've got your driveway there and the garage. The garage is full of everything but a car, but that offers you a bit of potential to... Um, uh, convert. We, like I said, we recently sold this one here, which is number 69. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think the owners of that had planning permission uh, for an extension, which they didn't do in the end. Um, but anyway, come inside, have a look. So, first things first, in the entrance hall, the owners had uh, the Antico flooring put in in this house when they bought it, brand new. So this is fabulous, absolute bomb-proof flooring. Uh, everyone loves it. It's totally practical and uh, great with children or pets, especially. So in the entrance hall, we've got the downstairs loo. The house is absolutely spotless. Nice little room, nice little downstairs loo. And then the kitchen's at the front. This is fully loaded. So you've got a built-in oven, hob, dishwasher, washing machine and, and a fridge freezer overlooking the front of the property. One thing I should have mentioned to you, Renfields itself uh, is a nice quiet spot. Uh, and this is a, obviously a cul-de-sac off that. So it's a nice position as they go. And then the living room, good sized living room at the back. I'm gonna take you out in the garden in a minute because they've got a really cool home office studio in the garden. I'll give you a brief glimpse of that before we go outside. But there's the back garden, which they've had all landscaped. We're here in midwinter, so everything's as raw as you like. You can see there's lots of trees planted around, so it's going to be a bit more private come the winter, come the summer. And obviously the garage is through that wall, so a lot of people are converting garages. You've got the very big understairs cupboard. I won't open that just yet. And then upstairs, they're really generous bedrooms, these. So let's just take you around. Well, I'll take you around in this order, really. So front room here. Nice size double. They feel like they're quite high ceilings in these houses. That's overlooking the front. And of course, great big double wardrobe in this one as well. So nice size double bedroom there. Remember that, that's one. You've got the family bathroom across the hall. So super big bathroom. This is big enough. They could have put a shower in here as well if they wanted to. And of course the Velux window at the back. Another generous room. I mean, they're all big doubles. This is why I say this is one of the best designs of houses over here. A lot of these townhouses are really well designed as well, but more often or not, you get small bedrooms. And for a two-story house to have three big bedrooms like this is pretty rare. Normally, if a developer was building a house of this square footage, they would have squeezed this to make this a four bed. So again, double wardrobe in this one. And then at the front, you've got the main bedroom. Another whopper. Again, Built-in set of wardrobes there. So wardrobes in all the rooms, plus the overstairs cupboard. Two windows overlooking the front. And now into the back garden, into the uh, ensuite shower room. Again, spotless, really nicely done. And you've got a window for natural ventilation and the oversized shower. So that's the ground, uh, that's the inside. So just to recap, three double bedrooms, two bathrooms, 
nice big living room and a fully equipped kitchen downstairs. Now, Bolnor Village, uh, I mean, it's fast proving to be one of the best parts of Haywards Heath, especially for families and professionals. Um, like I say, mainly partly to the school, but it's got a really good community here. They've got a load of things going on. There's a, a community centre or a Woodside Pavilion, which is down on the, uh, just south of the middle village area, well, south of the village square. Uh, and in there, you've got the Woodside Pavilion, which has loads of little groups, uh, mums and toddlers groups, and lots of, I think, private um, classes going on in there. Um, and there's sports fields, they have their own sports, uh, uh, own football teams now. Here's the garage, which the owner said he feels is quite cluttered. Believe me, this is quite tidy as they go. But they're big garages, these. Now, if you've not been in one of these modern houses, I think they're about 20 foot by 10 foot wide. A normal garage was about 16 by 8, so they're a good couple of feet or more longer and a couple of feet wider. And this is really is crying out for conversion at some point a lot of people tend to keep the front part of the garage for storage and then convert the back section into either a big playroom or as this one you have a home gym however you've then got the little bonus space which is this garden room really nice bit of landscaping they've done out here with the terracing i'm gonna probably pull the wrong door here but look at this and the owners pick up their own wi-fi out in this room but they love this this is like it's cost them this is only about a year old cost them a lot of money but they've got power and lighting and a wine chiller with no wine in it. What's going on? Well, they actually say it's great in the summer, but a lovely little room to work from if you need to work from home. But there you go. That is number 67 Renfields. It's a three bedroom detached. Um, the big bonus is that is offered with no chain. The owners are actually going to vacate. Um, and Bolnor Village, as I mentioned, it's a lovely place. It's all beautifully managed. Like all of these developments, it, it's a private estate now. So you pay a service charge. Everyone pays all the houses and flats. They pay the same charge for the estate charge. So that's the upkeep of all the greens, the play areas, the roadways. And it's around 300 to 350 pounds a year. But there you go. That's number 67 Renfield. I hope you're impressed. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Hayward Heath. Thanks for watching.